Hey everyone, what's up? Stan Perver here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this little over and under bridge effect. What this basically is. There just happens to be a train right now. Cool. Anyways, um, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but anyways. So yeah, basically what this is, is you can go over a bridge and you can go under it. Both at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but well, like you got different floor levels, basically. Now, how this is done is actually quite simple. So, right here we have a bridge event. And the bridge event is given the graphic of the tile layer B, and it's given the bridge looking graphic. Okay, so there's that. Now, you want to actually set it to below characters. And that's all you need to do. And you want to make a new event page. You go over here, uh, or just copy and paste it. This time, you want to make it above characters on the second page. Then you want to check this box that says switch. And double click here, or click a little triple dot things, the ellipsis, and you can, um, just go ahead and type floor in one of your empty uh, switch areas. So we're going to click OK. We're going to copy and paste that to the length of the bridge. What that's going to do is when you turn a switch on, you, it's going to be above the player. When it's off, it's going to be uh, below the character so he's able to walk on it. These events right here are to actually stop the player from being able to walk around. So if there's no switch on, we're going to say it, we're going to set the priority to the same as characters. Make a new event page, and if the switch is on, then we're going to say below characters, so he can walk through it. That way, you know, when he's on the ground level, these events are not going to stop him. We're going to basically do the same thing for here and here, the entrance points, um, but we're going to change it around. So when there's not a switch on, it's below characters. When there is a switch on, it's the same as the characters. That stops him from being able to walk up here while he's under the bridge. So really that's all you have to do, um, just make sure you put the proper event placements here. Uh, these, This one turns it off, turns the switch off, so that means he's now above. Uh, he's above the ladder, and the, the one underneath the ladder turns it on, so that way he's underneath the he's underneath the bridge. I'm going to show you how that works again, and that's basically how you do this. Pretty cool effect, I've learned it a long time ago, I just, I've showed it like a couple times I think, or at least once, I think. At least I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed something similar to this. But yeah, that's how you do that, and see so you can't uh, enter. Now, if you did glitch it out, you can see um, you got like this little block here. Again, if you hit the switch area, you can walk over it. But if you glitch out here, you know that you can't do anything very much. So yeah, that just kind of stops you from going off the bridge. Um, you could decorate the bridge a little if you wanted. Like that. Let's go ahead and do that. See how that looks. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. But now we can't go under it because of the uh, the tiles are not, well, designed for that. But yeah, so that's how you do that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later.